And here we are. Hello, everyone. Here we are indeed. Hi, Just guys. A, uh, bonus. Yay. Yay, a bonus point five. Uh, what's winners. new? Yeah, winners. Winners. There are a lot of winners for a lot of things in Cincinnati over the last week, yeah. pretty much. All I do is win, win, win. Uh, so No uh, matter what. There you go, Julia. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I do so what I can. So we, we want, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. We, <laughs> we just wanted to call out the, the winners for Great American Beer Festival down over in uh, the old uh, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Uh, over in Denver. Denver, Colorado. Uh, oh. A lot of local people went over to Denver. And mm-hmm. what's really cool, too, uh, before we announce the winners, is looking at their... Because you know, we know many of the people and uh, places they work at mm-hmm. and, you know, can follow them on social media. Mm-hmm. A lot of them got to check off a lot of bucket list kind of stuff by That's going true. to Colorado. First of all, going to Colorado. Yep. I don't know if anybody, you know, ha- that went there is the first time there. I've never been. That would be a bucket list thing for me mm-hmm. Same. to go to Great American Beer Fest, go to Bierstadt, uh, which is, I mean, a lager haven. It's like, ah, it's like this <laughs> slow pour uh, sexiness down there. I mean, is where that, you know, sort of, uh, you know, just just was, I don't know if it was birth there, but it was certainly uh, uh, just, it seems like perfected. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I want to be the judge of that one day. Uh, and so a lot of people got to get together in Denver uh, from this community and hang out and do a bunch of um, beer travels. Mm-hmm and to, to different breweries. And then there was the Great American Beer Fest award ceremony. Yes, 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 which the Gnarly Gnome live blogged about, I guess you could say. Sure. He was updating. He made a blog post about it, and he would, you know, update that one singular blog post with comments about things that were happening, little, little mess-ups, or, you know, congratulations to this either local or non-local brewery for some of the winners, that kind of thing. So that was really fun to follow along with. But we wanted to shout out all of the the local and semi-local breweries yeah. that won medals because sure. it is a big deal. It is It does showcase exactly how much good beer there is here in Cincinnati and the surrounding areas. So I'll get started with... Uh, with the first three, and then I'll leave the last three for you, Marco. Sure. That sound good? Just yeah. do this easy. Sonder Brewing. You know we love them. Silver medal for Cato in the coffee beer category. Great beer. Brink Brewing also. They're all phenomenal breweries, so I'm going to stop saying that because I'm just going to be repeating myself over and over. Yeah. And you know, but Brink Brewing, they got a silver medal for Zumi in the coffee stout or porter category. And Mantry Brewing brought home the gold again for Hoppy Amber in the Extra Special Bitter or ESB category. Love that beer. It's love. Great. I've loved, loved, loved that beer since the beginning. And that's actually the beer that started everything off. Mm-hmm. I, I, when I was at the soft open uh, industry night for uh, Matry 2.0, um, they told the story about how the distributor uh, took the bottle of Happy Amber uh, put it in his windowsill and just left it there for uh, several weeks and then cracked it open later and it was a delicious beer which you do not treat a beer that way right, right. but the beer distributor was like that beer is awesome and that's what you know put them over the over the edge into getting their beer distributor so nice um, Boston Beer Company, Sam Adams, goal for just the haze in the non-alcoholic beer category. I have yet to have that, Julia. Same. Have you? Yeah, I Josh, have not had it yet. Anything? No. Josh is still with us, by the way. Julia is Josh, yeah. um, the master of uh, dad jokes and puns. Uh, uh, working on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, work is never done, right? Perfection That's true. is exactly. That's yeah. why I'm not a master. You have. It, it's just like you know when I when I was brewing beer, it's like I would say. Uh, I've never. I have not brewed my best beer yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have not had your uh, best uh, pun or dad joke yet. Uh, That's true. I'm working on the timing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Big Ash Brewing goal for Symphony in the Vienna style lager category. Great. I would love a Vienna style lager. Mm-hmm. I'd love to have Symphony from Big Ash. I have not. Have either of you two? Uh, I don't believe it was on tap when we went. We down need to there. get back there. We, we went do. there really close to when they opened. Right, with like a month. And I think they were still trying to figure stuff out. And I know that they've changed the process a bit. And I think, yeah, we got to get back there. Right. And then a little fish brewing uh, gold for apple brandy barrel maker of things in the wood and barrel aged sour beer category. 
Uh, Sounds congrats. amazing. Congrats to Little Fish. I was there yeah. uh, back what, in March. When you almost died. When I almost died. Actually, yes. also a uh, special shout out to Big Timber, uh, who won a G GABF award for, I believe it was their porter. Uh, That's which true. My trip to West Virginia was amazing in a lot of ways, and Big Timber was certainly uh, the highlight brewery, uh, brewery for me. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah. That also, fantastic. a huge congratulations to the winner of the Cincinnati Community Tool, Tool Bank Hammers and Ales 2022 Brewers Philanthropy Award. So, Narrow Path Brewing Congratulations won. to them, absolutely. And then uh, also a special shout out to the finalists of that award, uh, since it's about uh, community uh, and philanthropy, Ryan Guy, Sam Adams, Cincinnati, Esoteric, and High Grain. Uh, I had wonderful. such a hard time with this one because all of the breweries are saying, hey, we'd appreciate your vote because there was a public vote component to that award. And I'm looking at this list of breweries going, how, how do you pick which one should get an award for this? Because they all do such an amazing job uh -huh. of just being involved in the community, trying to make the communities better, you know, really just being outstanding members of Cincinnati that I didn't vote in this one just because I, I had no idea how to pick yeah. just one that I felt was more deserving than the others. I, I, I don't. I definitely echo that, uh, Julia. And I will say uh, Sunday, uh, my son and I were both at Sonder mm -hmm. and at Narrow Path, and I sat right next to the award. Yes. Uh, it was a pretty cool award. Yes, you told me about that. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. That is super awesome. So congratulations to everyone that that was a finalist in that because that is, as they like to say in certain movies, a major award. Absolutely. I mean, that really <laughs> shows how much you care about the community and the people around you and not just making a product to sell. Well, I think it's uh, when you run a business, you, you could you could absolutely put blinders on and, sure, and just sure. try and run your business and, and not give dollars anywhere except to putting it back into your business. Right. Uh, and but, these companies do not do that at all. You know, and it can be in several different ways, uh, whether it's giving your dollars to, to things in the community or, you know, su supporting them by, um, you know, some way tangentially through your through your business. Uh, establishment and, mm -hmm. and uh it's, it's it's definitely great to know that we have uh a great community uh in this in this brewing community that does support mm -hmm. uh so much stuff that's local and 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 for those that can't give uh in in dollars they support uh, local businesses themselves Absolutely, by yeah, uh, promoting yeah. their events and letting them you know have um a, a things at their place and, and, and you know, things of that nature. So, I mean, you can support a business by um, just having them have uh, something as simple as, you know, an, an industry night, or you can support a business uh, going all the way to, you know, the things that these breweries uh, were doing. So right. that, that's super special. And then the third award that I wanted to give a shout out to was uh, last night's Cincinnati Oktoberfest Quest Award winner. Now, yeah. this is a slightly different one because this is an award given purely based on one man's opinion. We tried to sway him, but he was he was set in his ways. Yeah. Uh, every year for the last couple of years, the Gnarly Gnome has done his own personal Oktoberfest quest to find what he feels is the best Oktoberfest beer in Cincinnati from all the local breweries. It has to be a packaged beer, though he did open it up to home brewers this year. Yeah, shout there out to only, Elijah. Elijah, yeah, yeah, he was the only home brewer that entered the competition. Hopefully other home brewers, now that they see that, yes, this is legit to do that, you never know. Next year, there might be more. But it was, you and I got to participate as we being... We did. That was I, fun. I don't want to say guest judges because in the end, our opinions didn't necessarily matter. But it was really cool to be able to to, um, to kind of contribute our thoughts and opinions on the different Cincinnati Oktoberfest that made Absolutely. it to the finale or to the, the final. Um, Josh, you were there. You helped. You and Caroline helped so much with pouring the beers for us to taste blind yeah. so that we weren't we didn't mm -hmm. know what we were what we were getting um so you contributed just as much to last night's award ceremony as 
I anyone tried, on the I, stage. I tried to do what I could. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I knew that it. somebody needed to pour the beer, and I knew it had to be impartial. Mm-hmm. Uh, Noam kind of gave me instruction on how he wanted things done, and mm-hmm. Caroline and I, uh, sorry, Caroline, yeah, <laughs> uh, we kind of... Uh, Tag teamed it and you did we got great. it done. So yeah, nice. And, um, also, and also a special shout out to Caroline for showing up in the Old official Dirndl, Donna yeah. Schwab and uh, uh, you know um, outfit. Yeah. outfit. Yeah, it was it, amazing. Name, she name looked tag great. And name tag and all. It was she absolutely so appropriate. Great. Yes, it, it was absolutely appropriate. And um, and Noam even said the only reason he didn't wear his hat is because he had to wear the headphones. Yeah. Uh, so uh, maybe next year, bring the hat and just set it on the table or yes. something. So shout out to Mad Tree for winning Gnome's 2022 yes. October yeah. Festival. Yeah, congrats. And for getting the first ever Golden Gnome Award. That's right. Which was pretty badass. There are it's pictures of it up on social media. If, uh, if you weren't able to come to Fretboard for the live show next year, if the live winner reveal happens at Fretboard again or somewhere else... It is such a good, good, good time. Yeah, and um, every year, Mad Tree has pretty fucking awesome steins. Yeah, they uh, do. And yeah, what they was do. super cool and a surprise was, you know, once it was all uh, said and done and they were uh, crowned the winner, they passed out a few of the steins, which was uh, You really, were so excited. Oh, I was very oh. exciting. <laughs> I, I was so I, happy I, for you. I'm a... I'm, I, I collect glassware, uh, and I love glassware. I want to serve things in a proper, mm-hmm. uh, a proper piece of glassware uh, with whatever the beverage may be. Mm-hmm. And I was very happy to. This year, I have two steins uh, from the Cincinnati area, and I was not expecting uh, the one last night. So that was extremely, extremely awesome, and I was surprised and and. Um, taken aback and, and just very um, flattered that uh, I got to, number one, participate in the event. It's the second event that I got to participate in um, uh, locally uh, surrounding mm-hmm. the gnome uh, and what he does that I just, I couldn't be more flattered to, to have been a part of. Uh, Julie, I know that you were part of, of, of the two yep. as well, and I was excited about that as well because... Uh, look a little peek behind the curtain. Part of the reason why we do this is sometimes to get into cool shit. You know, I mean, look, we're th- this is a money pit, y'all. I mean, uh, you know, pull the curtain back. I mean, we pay for all this. We pay for the beers. Sure. We pay for the equipment. We pay for everything. Um, this is a passion project for us that we hope you enjoy. Not any shame in trying to, in any way, sometimes. Uh, Find a little fun in it. Uh, oh, and sure, this yeah. is fun, or we wouldn't yeah. do it. But, I mean, find a little ancillary fun. And right. It's, th- it's nice this. to get a little, I don't, I don't want to say, like, extra recognition. But no, no, it no. is nice to... It's to nice be to be a part of, of the, stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just it's just being a part of stuff and it's part of the community, right? A- everyone it, likes getting recognized. There, there's no shame in that, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you guys did participate. Mm-hmm. You got a couple free samples of beer out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, you know, there was some discussion with the gnome. It was a great event. Everyone had fun. Got to talk to some other people from some of the breweries. Yeah. You know, the, all the four of the event. finalist breweries were there. We that got to so talk awesome. with all of them. They that were was great. awesome. They were great awesome. people. It was a good It was a good time, good yes. environment, yes. great location. Fretboard was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It was great. And and we're not here saying, look, if we're going to do something like this, like we need uh, we need breweries we, X, no, Y, and Z to no, do no, this, no. this, and this. No, it's never like that. We are it's always just cool when that happens. Exactly. Right. We're always yes. taken aback by generosity in the community. Yes. And uh, over and over and over again, uh, it just happens. And so we're, uh, you know, we're, extremely we're part of the best craft beer community in the world. Uh, Hands th- down. Without a doubt. Hands without down. a doubt. And, yeah. uh, and I mean, I'm in here by proxy and I'm <laughs> I'm having a great time. So, yeah. yeah. So we have a, a, a really fantastic craft beer community. It's mm-hmm. growing uh, despite that, you know, a couple of places, you know, in the region have had to say goodbye. Uh, there are more coming up mm-hmm. and there's and, more behind those. And there are more awards that keep rolling into the Cincinnati area, craft brewers, breweries as, and, as the years go by. And that's better and better. And that is awesome. We yes. have a really awesome craft beer community that puts out really great beer. We are very blessed. And if you ever want to test that, go outside of this community, go outside of the mm-hmm. city, go to a different state. And, and what I'm saying is it, don't go to, it, go to Asheville for fun. 
go to you know Portland, go to all these other beer cities, and you're going to find that we are on par with all of them. You go to BFE Iowa. Uh, good right. luck. Good luck. You get you go to BFE any state. Good luck. Yeah, you're not going to find the quality that we have here. You're not. The awards speak for themselves to the quality of beer in the Cincinnati area. And congratulations to everyone for all of the awards that yeah. they have been given. Not not Amazing. just the last week, but the Amazing. last over the last year. It's been phenomenal to see. And I can't wait for next year to see how many more Cincinnati brings home. I I I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here, Julia. I'm gonna say so one, two, three, four, five, six that we recognize this year. For I'm GABF, gonna, yeah. For GABF. I'm gonna say nine next year. Hell yeah. I mean, out of the six, four of them were gold. Two of them were yeah. silver. Like, that that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That, that's great. We're going to do it. Let's bring it. All right. Let's do it. You heard Marco. And thank you for listening to, uh, to this little extra bonus because we wanted to make sure that we recognize the places that we love and the amazing beers that they are making. Hell yeah. Thanks, Have a great everyone. one, guys.